As we talked about a few minutes ago, we're keeping a close eye on Aurora, where the mayor has called a special city council meeting. It's going to start in about 15 minutes. It will look at the Aurora Police Department and the response to protests over the death of Elijah McClain on Saturday. But there's also new outrage in this case after officers allegedly took photos with each other in chokeholds at the spot where McClain struggled with police. Nine News reporter Sonia Gutierrez talked to community leaders pushing for more action from the city in response to Elijah McClain's death. We've been here since day one. Candace Bailey has organized different events. I remember when we had to call someone from community to come mow this grassy area before Elijah's vigil. Every event with the same message, respect for the community. I remember that feeling, the weight of that. I don't think it's changed. I think it's evolved. Evolved into a larger problem that Terrence Roberts sees too. What's sad is that we have to keep doing these actions because we have not yet got justice for this young man. Recently, they heard about pictures of Aurora police officers reenacting the death of Elijah McClain. That just goes to show that not only did, are they not aware of what the world is saying about what happened to Elijah McClain, but they're very detached from the community because this is a community effort. Elijah could have been anybody. It could have been anyone's child. Terrence says there's a bigger problem with APD around cultural bias, racism, and aggression towards the community. I think it shows the mentality that we've been fighting and dealing with, especially here in Colorado with the Aurora Police Department. And he's willing to keep fighting that mentality in the hope that what happened to Elijah doesn't happen to anyone else. And we're going to do it again, and we're going to do it again, and we're going to do it again until we get justice for Elijah. For Nine News, I'm Sonia Gutierrez. Terrence, Candace, and many other community organizers also told Nine News that this is the time to make systemic changes that will prevent things like those pictures from happening again.